What is it, my friends? So, Overlord is the movie to go see this weekend. Now, there were many rumors regarding this movie, whether it was going to be a direct sequel to, to Cloverfield, to the Cloverfield Paradox, Tank Cloverfield Lane, or just be in the same universe as those movies. I'm here to tell you that none of that came true. This movie is its own thing and does not ha not have a single thing to do with Cloverfield, its monsters, its portals, whatever you want to call it. This movie is a straight up war horror movie type of deal, more along the lines of action. It's a little horror in here, but not that much, but definitely will make you jump. This movie basically deals with American soldiers going to bomb this radio tower from the Nazis so that D-Day can happen successfully. Ultimately, they find out that the zombies, well, that the Nazis are actually fabricating zombie soldiers, or as they call them, thousand-year-old soldiers with some serum that the Nazi scientist has developed. They ultimately get the help of a young woman whose brother has been taken by these Nazis. She goes to find him. They go to do the radio towers and also blow up anything that the Nazis have. And ultimately, by the end of it, we see something truly, truly disgusting as you seen in the thumbnail yes a nazi captain soldier that was taken by the americans who was pretty much brutally beaten to take as much information from him is now getting his revenge by taking five of the serums and usually what happens with the serums is they would make you into like a zombie or something he was alive when he took the serums however so he became sort of a wicked captain america of sorts if that makes any sense and he's pretty much indestructible and now he's, I look like a little speck of something like that. So now he's pretty much out there fighting the soldiers. There's two soldiers outside of the compound, like distracting every other soldier. While two soldiers are inside trying to detonate all the bombs. But here comes the Nazi Captain America and he's just like wrecking havoc on these two soldiers. So ultimately the corporal's like, you know what, there's no way I have to join him to beat him. So he takes some of the serum as well, and as they fight, he realizes that there's no other way but to just pretty much sacrifice himself. He tells the other soldier to detonate all the other bombs he can, and he just detonates one of the bombs on himself. He says that it's better this way because the serum, even though they can take it away and bring it to the United States, he says that no one should have it in their possession, which ultimately causes him to come to that conclusion everything has to go so he pretty much destroys everything the other soldier manages to escape he's asked by the um, other generals if there was anything that they should go after or anything like that and he tells them no that there is nothing left and that's pretty much the end of the movie so as the corporal put it best this soldier he had to lie because this serum even if it was in the hands of somebody who meant good or whatnot, anybody could still get it, and it was definitely going to be bad news as we saw it. Now, I thought that the uh, was pretty interesting because uh, this movie really delved into some pretty dark things with Nazis and all that World War II, and was able to mix all of these things with zombies, which I thought was pretty interesting, and gave me some Call of Duty vibes as well. But anyways, in the end, the serum definitely would make you stronger or bring you back to life. But ultimately, I think you lose a part of yourself with it. As we saw, Corporal was about to lose that part, and we saw that the captain from the Nazis already has losing it, and we saw that the other people pretty much were already like brainless, just soldiers that were going to be used. So anyways, what are your thoughts on Overlord? I definitely recommend this movie. Very visceral, very raw, very intense. Go check it out. But anyways, as always, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you comment, share, like, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Stay positive.